Welcome back to another YouTube video, and today, I don't know, this is another random uh, video, so to speak. Why do I still have this? Um, doesn't matter. I have a slideshow up still. Why not? Uh, but now I'm gonna switch over, and oh my god, why are you not in the center? Wait, oh, okay. You're locked. Okay, I'm going to center you. Center, please. Okay, I'm going to move you. No, the other way. Thank you. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh, that's why I had it over there. But, yeah. Okay. A minute of hoo-ha. Why, why not? It, bloopers. Gotta have them. Anyways, what I wanted to discuss is... I feel the light, again, um, lesson was learned for me to reacquire something I had lost. Ha the reason it happened was universe was like, hey, you did not remember you did this, so I am going to make you remember to say, you know what, I have completed this part of me to get over it and have done just that to get over this if that makes any sort of sense because I can deal going back to the previous video where he talked about I got a random matches and he God sent him go look back at this past event from two or three years ago turned out it came from 2019 not 2018 or 2017 and with that events from 2019 made me look back or remember the past from many many years ago and the lesson was this you never lost the light you only thought you did you regained it you're normal you learned from your mistakes, you have flaws, but these flaws are because you came down to 3D, you lost, or so you thought, everything that you were, but no, you didn't lose anything, it, the light never left you. What part of that are you not getting, and then I somehow magically do, and that was the whole topic of the previous video and that that's kind of still uh flowing through me now that I am more awake and more into the balance again I can actually talk about it more uh profound uh ease. this is a recap bit um good within four minutes sweet okay with that out of the way we can actually get into the video. Me, I don't worry about time. I go on and on and on. It just happens. It's my, it's my energy. I have a lot to say. I am a speaker. I am a leader. What more do you want? Oh, how about this? More light. Language. More light codes. Because I have not been able... Because I did not have the light, well, it needed to be within myself to do another light language video or soul language video because I was not up to it. Uh, easiest way to say that. And I am getting that urge again, but before I do, I need to go to filters and uncrop this because 
I need more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Because now you're gonna see my hands. Because before it was like two. Yeah. Anyways. Good, we are making a good time and my energy is just up there. Only because I rebound my light, my voice, my magic. Yes, I have been told, do not tell people you are a light worker because bad people will use you, protect your faith. I say, uh, what part of, what part of the multiverse of dimensions would you let that happen to begin with? Bad people will use you. Hide yourself. Eh, no. I don't need to hide myself. No point, because they will figure me out anyways, therefore, openly say it. And so I do. And that is still not... Okay, I'm just gonna... Hundred... Nope. That's also why I don't... Can't... Okay, that's gonna be... Yeah, uh... Okay, that's- that's better now. Very finicky, perfectionist, whatever. Light cones. What is flowing through my mind? Okay. I hear a bird. This is before I even do the language. Interesting. Okay, um... I hear a waterfall. Viver sounds like a you're like... Sitting, I keep having this vision Well, I'm like in a cave of sorts. There's this waterfall, like, I'm sitting, like, um, the waterfall is to my back. I am sitting on ground. There's this pool behind me while the waterfall is feeding into this pool of water. There's, yeah. So, waterfall and the pool is behind me. I am meditating in front of it. My back is to it. I see the color green. White hair. No, I Blue eyes. <laughs> really, my own fantasy mind going crazy. Uh, vampire veins and a little bit of... Bane licking. What? Brain, you're not. What is this? <laughs> like, it's been a, it's been a while, like a long time since I've been doing something like this. He holds out his hand. Oh, I forgot to say he's in lotus position, like meditation position. But you probably already knew that. So he's holding out his hand, his hand. And says, do not be afraid. You do not have to be afraid anymore. Do the mission no matter what. Continue moving forward with the great work. The mission that you came here to do, do it at no at any cost, continue to do that mission. So basically, it's saying, Hey, remember that time you were called a demon and you broke down into tails, you were shattered, but you still did the mission despite that. You never wavered. So he's talking about my event, my experience, and 
and like yesterday I had this very odd dream. I don't even I don't even know because I didn't wake up on my own. I was scaled out of my sleep. So what I remember was vaguely the end. So I was talking to someone and then I for some reason I keep dreaming I was in my elementary school. I left the school, walked out of the front doors, down the sidewalk, and then I was transported to another place. And there was this voice saying something to me, there was this conversation going on, but I don't remember anything other than I am trembling in fear. And I even said this before I was... <coughs> 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 Ah, <clears throat> oh, that hurts. Not sick, it's just an allergic reaction. I can't control it. <clears throat> mm. So, back to the, the dream. I am having a conversation with this voice. I do not see him. I know it's a male. He is saying something to me, but I I tell him I am afraid and I am trembling in fear. No clue why. I don't I vaguely remember the part of the dream other than that before I was startled out of my sleep by a sound. So I don't really know what was going to happen next, but the beginning was a repeat dream. Very odd. And now this vision is saying the re con connecting the dots? I, I don't know. Uh, Kind of a weird intro to a light language video. Uh, none of this was planned. It's just... Yeah, but I already know what the, the vision is telling me. Stop at nothing to do the great work, the great mission. I already know this. I have said this to myself many times before, and did I ever stop? Did I ever waver from it? I have not. I never once quit. Yes, I may take a month to write something new, but that's... I still don't understand why those blank spots happen, but they do. They have done it. Well, I have gone weeks or months without new content. Nothing floating in my head, so to speak. Uh, but despite that, I never stopped the mission, despite that. Okay, I am hearing a lady scene, but I cannot make out the words. It's in a foreign tongue. But now I do hear something, but it... Uh... The voice is saying, uh, come along with me, um, on this great journey. I see a, a hand reaches out, light, like a sunlight, beaming, uh, um, I see white, no, pretty stars are dove, doves flying now, what, half of the, okay, um, do not mistaken your gifts, um, they are real, do not think you are crazy, it is 
from your DNA, these light codes that have activated, use them for good. Use them to empower yourself. Use them to enlighten others if you can. Do not be a con. Do not be a fraud. Do not be a demon. Um, so, this is going back to what I thought and felt like, you know what, maybe I am crazy. Maybe the gifts that I have are fake. That turns out to not even be true. My gifts are real. My magic is real. And to think otherwise was fighting myself. Again, the war inside of me. You have to somehow overcome these obstacles and the demons make it very hard. Believe me, I've had many voices in my head that were evil. But that's the point. Um, I now know that the gifts are from the angels, the gods, the light. And I, it took me a while to remember that, hey, you remember this feeling you had when you were younger, but you wanted to unite all these sub friends into one group to help others, to enlighten others, but you were doing it all wrong? Well, do it in this new way and reboot. And that's what I've done. I rebooted. And here we are today, over a thousand videos to date. I think it's over. Th no, can't be. Is it? Probably not. I'm. I'm I probably don't have a thousand videos yet. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Vray, the light has never left. It is waiting to be rediscovered. Time is taken away. Yes, yes, I already know. The major event that is going to happen in the future. We all know it. We all hear it. These rumors, well, oh, um, the Mayan calendar, um, all these other rumors from the spiritual world, uh, the uh, Palladians, uh, other light beings, uh, they talked about it, um, Huh, for... Um... Well, this has been one odd recording. Was not even expecting it, just happened. I'm currently waiting to see if anything else is going to enter. Okay. I'm seeing a woman. Okay. I know it's an angel. White dress. Uh, she's like touched my, my back and I actually felt it. Um, but it was she wasn't like put her hand on my back. It was actually on my shoulder area. But for some reason I felt it on my back, the, like, like right here, but on the, the back side, uh, 
That's kind of weird. She says, do not be afraid of what is to come. We all know something major will happen. We all have that feeling. Energy shifts, um, light codes, waking up, leveling up, etc. Um... They are still looking for the other light beings for the cause, the 1000 blue light ray, so to speak. They're, again, the, the light beings that will help uh, the great cause. They are still searching. There are more demons than the light. So they are combing through all that uh, nonsense, if you will. Not easy being down on Earth, 3D, chaotic, brainwashed, uh, dumbed down society. I mean, come on, we all, we all know something is wrong with this planet. The greed, the lust, death, the all seven deadly sins, gossip, rumors, lies, the hurt, the abuse, the lust can go on. So, yeah, the world is uh, falling apart at the seams. So, yeah. And again, uh, the voice uh, says, Prepare for what is to come. Ready yourselves. And however you see fit, the light is coming. The light will eradicate the darkness. The light will slay the demons once and for all. You think you can escape to the other worlds? You are wrongfully mistaken. We will slay you. Your darkness will not enter the light worlds. We will not have it. We will eradicate you before you do. We are coming to get the real light beings that are stranded on Earth. We are going to rescue you. The 1000 year time loop has ended and now the world is fallen apart. If you are even aware of this, many are not because, well, I for one have not noticed anything different. It feels the same to me, but there might be a select few that have noticed the shift or the time loop has indeed ended. So we are all in new territory, so to speak. I'm again seeing blue eyes, blonde hair, foul skin. Um, oh, why didn't I just say his name? Archangel Michael appealed uh, to me. Um, his face has popped up, and I know he's like, let go of the past, let go of the toxic bullshit, let go of the demons, slay the darkness, vend the veil, destroy the veil, see with clear eyes. 
level up, go back into 5D. Um, but yeah, uh, and well, this isn't light codes, but an ingles. <laughs> But, yeah, um... Okay, I'm seeing a boat going down a river. Dolphins jumping in and out of the water. Um... Goes and looks up at the moon for some reason. Crescent moon. Stars. See a sun. Now it's a blue sun. Uh, a blue star, okay, uh... A light just, whoop! Don't know what that was about. Um, again, it says, remember the light, remember your true soul, your true form. Remember, remember, remember. Light beam. Right into my third eye, so... Um, okay, I'm seeing a new face I've never seen before, but, oh, I can't pronounce his, his, uh, his name back, so I don't even remember, uh, but I know what it stands for. His name means Bell Slayer or Bell Killer. I, I can't remember, so I always say both of them. Uh, pretty much means the same thing, really. But, yeah, basically, I'm seeing a guy. Uh, a blue-eyes, blonde hell. But I already know who this is. Uh, very important figure. Believe me. Uh, he wants me to repeat something, so... Okay, I'm just gonna continue with my mind. Uh, there was light in all of the light beings, um, basically. God, the God, a God, created his own people, right? So, technically, his light would be in all of his light children, cousins, if you will, um, so the light you have is also his, and he's a protector of sorts. You may probably not even remember that this light even exists, and he's, he's doing, uh, he's doing like this. Think, remember, remember this light, look to it for guidance. His light is always there. Ask and he will listen. Ask and he will talk to this light. Um, kind of a vague message. Uh, he's saying... Yeah, the, the whole time loop, uh, people being stranded here, being trapped here, the rescue missing, um, yeah, this all sounds crazy, right, but what if Earth is hell and we are all trapped here because something happened in the past that we all forgot? And we came here to remember our own light, to level back up into 5D, uh, to help the others find their way. Um, but it's like a whole VR game, like, you don't remember you logged into this game, but you were here to find the other light beings and guided them back to the light 
while at the same time slaying demons, leaving them in the dust, and leveling back up into 5D from 3D, meaning peer pressure, gossip, closed-minded garbage sheep to a open-minded, spilled soul, divine creature. So basically, he's like, hey, remember you logged into this game? Wake the fuck up and help us find the other light. Help, help us help yourself remember the light within. Um, yeah, this is all, like, crazy. Uh, and so basically, the Mutsis is saying, Get back in touch with your soul, your ancestors, nature, shamans, witch doctors, etc. Get back in touch with the the soul, the light, cast out the darkness, destroy your enemies, and really just remember your life before you logged into this game. Not very easy to do. So basically, this is weeding out the weak from the strong, so to speak. Uh, that's why I mentioned VR game, because, well, what else could it be? I mean, whoop, VR, I'm in a game. Oh, wait, I forgot I logged in. Uh, thinking back to uh, this one game, Rick and Morty, Rickality, so that VR game kind of just jumps to mind straight away. Um... Right. Uh, hidden messages in classic rock. But basically, there's hidden messages everywhere. Um, you just have to know what you're looking for. Um, so... Right, I'm trying to remember this one song name, but I can't. Just driving me nuts right now. Uh, then, as the lyric goes, the kings and queens will play for you. Yeah, if I am remembering that lyric correctly, I'm probably not. But yeah, that that's as a hint at the life you left behind. Um. Then there's the whole, the hint of a wild child gonna save the human race lyric from the doors. Um, uh, to me, that just, well, basically backs up to you're not your mother's father. <laughs> Epic fail! Epic fail! Uh, that's not the lyric. It, it, it says... Basically, you were born into this body, but these parents are not your parents. Your soul has parents, but you're not with them right now. You're on 3D Earth, and you were born into this body, but they are not really your real parents. What in the world does that mean? Well, you reincarnated, so I would say go with your first parents of your soul rather than, I don't know, the 900th parents you could have had, <laughs> if you believe in reincarnation. Uh, uh, for, for me, it's... Okay, are your parents super spirit soul? Or do they believe in the light? Are they not toxic to you? Are they not abusive? Do they believe in light codes and all this other stuff? 
And if you answered, well, no, my dad was an abusive prick. Well, chances are he is not of the light and he is a freaking douchebag demon who was trying to kill the light within you because the demons are afraid of your light. Demons will try anything to destroy your light because they are afraid of what you will do with it. For me, demons have tried to prevent me from using my light for the better good, meaning what I am doing right now. Believe me, they tried. Demons made me who I am today. They failed to distinguish to destroy my light. So they made me stronger without realizing it. So that's basically the message on that. Uh, I mean, it's kind of... It's like, do you really have a bond with your parents, like soul to soul. And if you don't, then what if they are AI? <laughs> I mean, demonic. So yeah, AI, uh, VR game. We don't remember. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is getting pretty crazy, crazy video. Trippy, Th that's the word trippy. Um, Signs are every well. Uh, I will say this, the greys are real. The rest, you made it up. For fun, funsies. Uh, because there is only one soul tribe and the rest, well, you made it up for fun. I don't know why you did it. I don't know. Uh, but there are uh, Palladian demons, I will say that. Palladian demons, light beings, and human. Human trapped between the two and they have to decide whether or not will they be demon or will they go into the light and toss out the garbage of toxic nonsense. And more chances than not, they will go with the drama, they will go with the gossip, they will go with the raids, all this toxic activity. I've seen it many times, I don't get involved with humanity. I don't. They bring it to me as a, okay, you're a troll, bye bye, I block you. And I've done that many times, so yeah. Uh, yeah, you begin to notice things when your third eye is open. And your crown chakra is also opened. Right, as soon as I said crown chakra, I see golden light. Like something just opened up. And then a light beam, again going straight down through my skull and out my butt. Beam of light, okay. Uh, yeah, this prison's getting pretty trippy. Now I'm seeing green, the color green. Like a, oh, I've seen this photo before. Heart and those these lines and green light, basically, uh, which indicates the heart chakra. I see a flame, a burst of flame, then a phoenix pops up, feeling a rainbow and a unicorn or a pegasus appears, um, right, a dragon breathing fire right at my face. What? And then shadow, like just shadow. Appears, uh, shadow materializes. Thank you, Rain. Um,
Orion the Hunter throws a sparrow. What? Now he's now he's with a bow and arrow. Okay. Again, what is going on? Really? Now Zelda friggin' improves. Main in the old uh super Nintendo or Nintendo game. I always get those two mixed up because that was way before uh, I was very young when that came out, so I'm gonna go with the first Zelda. Like, okay, Raynan, um, why is my prisons going? Okay. Huh. Very weird now. <laughs> Batman logo, okay. Uh, I don't think there are any patterns now. Now I see the green arrow logo. Why? Oh. Okay, I can, can see that, that one, uh, because of what Oliver stood for. He had darkness in him, but... He chose humanity. His humanity, meaning his light over the darkness, even though the darkness was telling him to just murder the bad guys. Uh, but in doing so, you would literally go insane. A classic movie type uh, move. Um... But instead, he shows the light and didn't go all cuckoo bananas while Octavia and bad guys. So, yeah, I can actually see why that one is kind of appearing in my head. Okay. Almost an hour. Not not bad. Not bad. Like I said, I don't I don't go. Takes as long as it needs. Yeah, the the vision concluded. I thank you for your time.